Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be teaching how you can make this vinyl and rhinestone themed tumbler. This is based off of PDB Creative Studios art box and we'll be using a product that was inside. So this is the box again. I'm just showing it because it's super cute. I'm so obsessed with the theme of it. I will be using a sheet of vinyl that's donut themed from the art box. This is one of four sheets that I got also, and then I'm using a 32 ounce tumbler, but I do recommend that you size down, probably use um, somewhere between a 20 and 24 ounce tumbler. And then I'm just gonna prep it before I get started. Um, today, I'm not really adding glitter or paint to the base of it, just strictly the vinyl, and then I'm gonna go in with the rhinestones that was also in the, in the art box. So once I have that sanded down, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying a vinyl. I'm gonna use this tumbler um, cradle to help get the vinyl on, and I'm gonna apply the vinyl um, like in a triangle fashion, kind of. Usually, if I would apply vinyl like this, I would um, fold it in half and then apply it in triangles, but I figured um, this would probably be easier rather than cutting it, just having to apply it just like this. So that way, you know, I wouldn't have to add two separate sheets on, just do it just like this. I am going to get it all smoothed down and then that little flap in the front, usually I always cut that. It just depends on um, like what what the print landed on in the front, but I'm going to cut the top that's left over and the bottom and then I'm going to cut that little print out in the front. And you can see like the outline where it overlaps, so usually I just cut it right there and this is how it turned out. Before we go any further, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel more to come. So after you have the vinyl applied, you want to go ahead and grab the brown paint that also came in the art box. And this brown paint I'm going to use in a fashion to create drips. So I'm just going to go along the seams of the vinyl that I placed down already. And I'm going to kind of make drips. So it, I, I did have to paint it so that it would appear to look like drips. But it was super, super easy. And this paint dries extremely fast. If I've ever worked with any paint that I said have dropped fast. This is faster. This absolutely blew my mind the way that it holds the shape of drips and how fast it dries. And you can tell like when it's done drying because it appears darker, just like that. And then, so yeah, I just went around where all the seams were and this is how it turned out. After that dried, I epoxied it twice and then I'm gonna go in with this cotton candy rhinestone pack that came in the art box. I epoxied the cup to make sure that the vinyl and everything was sealed and that the rhinestones will also have something else to adhere to. So I'm using this glue from PDB also and I have a link below called Liquid Fusion to adhere all my rhinestones. And then I'm also using this rhinestone holder or a flipper i'm not quite sure what to call it exactly but i absolutely love this because no rhinestones get stuck in between and i feel like i've made a video before talking about it but i absolutely love that like i've used all types of um you know cradles or um trays for my rhinestones and it never just worked out the same way that this one does but yeah, the rest of the tutorial is really self-explanatory. I just used the rest of the rhinestones in there. I did use all the chocolate pieces, but I didn't use the lollipops inside because I wasn't quite sure that would go with it. I did the scatter method to apply all my rhinestones, and then after all that, I added some drips at the top. The scatter method to me is extremely easy because it's not following a certain pattern. This tutorial was extremely fun, but also challenging. If you're someone who is new to rhinestones but want to try it out, I absolutely recommend this. I hope everyone loved this, and thank you for watching.